Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making uh, miso salmon over a, a zucchini salad. Uh, this is a uh, recipe that I got from uh, Terry Walsh. She uh, resides in Costa Rica. She's a uh, New York fitness um, and health expert. And so she shared this wonderful recipe with me. Um, I will provide um, the where you can get the recipe book for uh, all of these healthy recipes that um, she provide um, that I film. Um, but this is uh, one of the really good ones. Um, I've been t testing them myself. Um, I did deviate a little bit because I like you know some spice. But um, this is the miso salmon recipe. So thank you so much, Terry. You can uh, go to her Facebook page, uh, Terry Walsh, um, and get the information that you would need. So I have some zucchini noodles. I have a spiralizer, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish spiralizing the zucchini. You can get this spiralizer um, from Amazon. Um, it's very inexpensive. It's easy to clean. Um, and so you can make uh, zucchini noodles, carrot noodles, whatever uh, kind of vegetable noodles that you want. And this can replace your uh, pasta noodles. And so it's really, really good. Um, and I really like uh, using this kitchen tool. Um, and it's easy to store because it's not huge and bulky. So, all right. So I have my zucchini noodles go ahead and get them all in the bowl as you see I spiralized a little bit earlier um, and so I have all my zucchini noodles ready so I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way it has the suction cup at the bottom and so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my mixture together. So, zucchini noodles, this does call for radishes. I didn't have any radishes on hand, so it's, it's uh, not needed. And then uh, two teaspoons of sesame oil. So I have some sesame oil here. Um, and I measured, like to measure this out, so two teaspoons of that. One, two. And then um, it calls for one teaspoon of honey. So let me get the honey. All right. And you like to, you want to put in the honey second because it'll slide right out because of the oil. So one teaspoon of honey. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. So let me get two tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two. And I'm going to be using these ingredients again for the salmon as well. Um, and then a the juice of one lime. So I have one lime. So go ahead and juice it. get as much juice out of it as possible. You can pre-juice it, use a juicer. I have like a little juicer, but I don't want to go through all that. So let's juice it. Um, and then the ginger. So you're gonna have a, a, what is it? A teaspoon of ginger. So I have some fresh ginger here. I'm gonna go ahead on a microplane. This is a microplane. You can get this um, on Amazon as well. Um, you can get this at Bed Bath & Beyond or any of the stores. I'm gonna get this going and in here. A little bit more. And I kind of eyeball it. You can measure it, but I kind of eyeball it. I kind of know the amount. All right, so I have my ginger. And so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. So take a, take a whisk or a fork, mix it up, mix up the dressing really well. Get all the ginger. Oh, and the last thing is a little bit of spice. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of sambal. One, two. And sambal is a uh, Korean uh, chili. It's uh, pretty spicy. So if you like spicy, put it in there. If you don't like spicy, don't put it in there. So have that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pour this over noodles. This was like a little bit, but actually once you toss the noodles and they sit, this will uh, cover all the noodles. Toss this around, let it soak through. And it's gonna soak through all these noodles. As you see, the noodles are getting coated already just from that little bit of liquid. So it doesn't take much. And you don't want to overdress it either because you want your noodles to have integrity. You want them to be crunchy, so you don't ever want to uh, overdress it because then the uh, zucchini will become soggy. So, and I see like the, the nice chili flakes in there. I like that color in there. It looks really good. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to the fridge. Let it sit while the salmon cooks. All right, and so now on to the salmon. So we have our salmon. We have a, this is a two eight ounce pieces of salmon that I cut. So they're four ounces each of salmon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that together. So I have the salmon and then I need two tablespoons of miso paste. So get this, I, uh, you can find this in the Asian aisle at um, most grocery stores or you can order it online. Um, I like having this um, two-sided measuring because then I can use it without having to wash it and keep going back and forth to the sink. So, oh, next time we use a different measuring cup. So one, and these are clean hands, of course. And then two. All right, so I have my miso paste. Make sure I get all of it in there, get in there. Um, and then um, I'm gonna have my uh, honey, so two, uh, two tablespoons of honey. So this is gonna uh, call for more honey. And this honey's gonna help give a nice sheen and glaze to the um, salmon. So one, and two, all right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in um, a quarter cup of soy sauce. So I'm gonna kinda, this measures a quarter, so I'm gonna measure this up to the half cup mark because that's a quarter cup of, of liquid in there already. All right, so I have that, and then um, it calls for two tablespoons of ginger, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so two tablespoons of ginger. Let me go ahead and grate my ginger, put my miso paste away. Get that in there. It's a lot of ginger, a lot of flavor. And as you notice, I'm not using any salt and pepper because there's salt in the soy sauce, so you don't need to use any salt at all. It's gonna have enough flavor where you won't need it. Oh, that's a good two tablespoons. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, two tablespoons of sesame seed. I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball it. So. So it uh, calls for two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So go ahead and put that in. So one, two. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And go ahead and use the same fork because it's similar ingredients. Go ahead and get this mixed in. Make sure that miso paste get mixed in. It's gonna kinda create a thicker sauce consistency. Okay, so I have that mixed up. I have my baking sheet here. I'm going to put my salmon on. 
I let my salmon sit out. You, let, you want to let your salmon uh, sit out just like all of your proteins. Uh, sit out to uh, close to room temperature so that it has a pretty even cook in the oven. Um, if you don't do that, then you might not have an even cook. And I want this to be just cooked. I don't want it to be overcooked. Um, but I don't want it too rare either. Make sure it's fully covered. All right, so that's fully covered. So I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Uh, when we come back, I will pull this out of the oven and I will put together this delicious miso salmon dish. Welcome back. So the miso salmon is done. The zucchini salad is totally complete. So uh, thank you so much, Terry Walsh. Once again, go to Terry Walsh Facebook page um, and you can uh, buy her book. Um, this is a wonderful recipe. Um, next time on my show will be some more exciting uh, recipes. Um, I am Cordell, the Culinary Diva, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and also www.deliciousexperience.com. See you next time.